Good, e good evening everyone, this is Steve KI5JUF. What I want to show you tonight is um, a feature that's on the FT991A. It's called Recall and Store. Recall and Store allows you to store five frequency locations with associated modes and specific F functions that are associated with those specific memory locations. So what I'll do is I'll show you real quick reason we're doing this is is because dad and I dad talks 6 meter and I talk 10 meter but we also talk a lot on the repeaters and we use the memory locations in our uh, programmable memory our, our, our memory banks so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to program starting with this one all the way up to the top and these are the five banks as part of what they call the recall and store feature so we'll go ahead and go through each one of these and I'll post all this in the, in the body of the email so you'll be able to see it. So what we'll do first is we'll go to VFO and we'll enter, we'll press uh, mode FM and then we'll press band and we'll press enter 146.5201 press enter and, and then we'll press and hold the recall and store button until we hear two beeps then we'll go to number four we'll press mode we're also in FM enter uh, let's see then we can press band uh, I'm sorry press mode FM and we need to press band, enter, 0, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 0, 0. Press enter, and we press and hold the STO button again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press mode. We're going to change it to upper sideband. Then we're going to press band. Enter. And now we're going to enter five zero. Excuse me. Zero five zero. Ah, I got this all screwed up. Zero five zero. One two five zero zero enter and we're going to press and hold the recall store it basically writes it the next one we're going to do is we're going to do mode FM band enter 0296000 press enter and it recall store and then the last one we're going to do is mode upper sideband band enter zero two eight four zero 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 enter all right so now what we should have is we should have there's the last one we entered the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to associate these buttons down here to each one of these specific locations. So let's go back to 28400. What I'm going to show you on the computer screen, this is what we're going to program here. Location 1 will be meter, DNR, noise blanker, and memory jam. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Memory location 2 will be meter, RF, power, squelch, and so forth. So we'll go back over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the function button and we're going to go over and we're going to locate 
memory location memory location one is meter which is correct memory location two we want to change this so we're going to press F2 swap notice it starts flashing now we're going to go through and we're going to find DNR and we're going to transfer DNR down here so you just move down here next one we're going to do is noise blanker we'll put him here so we have to go back to F3 notice this one's flashing now now we go back to uh, noise blanker noise blanker now we just populated it down there so now we have meter digital noise reduction noise blanker and memory channel now we're going to go to the next one which is 29600 and on this one we're going to put meter here let me get back here meter here this one here we're going to have RF power and this one will have squelch so these are actually correct but I'll show you how we would change them we would go back to F2 and we'll put RF power and that populates it and we go to F3 see how it starts flashing and we'll go back over and we'll find squelch these were already set I'm just kinda of demonstrating it here squelch right there so the next one we'll do in memory channel that's the fourth one the next one we'll do is this one so now what we'll do is this one here is digital noise reduction and noise blanker so something I noticed here notice this uh, let's see here USB we also have digital noise and noise blanker FM we have or this USB we also have digital noise and noise blanker and this one's FM so on the FM we're going to put RF power and squelch which we already have and then the last one we'll change is this one here so let's fix this one what we want to put here is RF power and squelch we have squelch here so let's move actually we have that one already set so what we would normally what we would do if we wanted to change it is we would go to F2 see how it's flashing and we would locate RF power puts it down there same thing here if we want to do number three we hit F3 see how it's flashing we just locate squelch just for fun I'm gonna put uh, mic gain there just for fun just so you can see it see mic, mic gain is there now let's change that to squelch so we'll go back to F3 again see it's flashing and now we're gonna find squelch and watch this see how it just moved down there so now we have this one correct we have DNR digital noise reduction and noise blanker we have power which is what we wanted squelch again digital noise reduction and on and and uh, noise blanker RF power and squelch for location number four and number five RF power again so the ideal here is you can basically have five preset recall frequencies that have the associated mode which is uh, FM USB and FM USB so the ideal here is if you're normally working over here on repeaters and all of a sudden you have some propagation coming in you can easily easily go over so for example if I have a repeater tuned in here in Abilene I'm talking on a repeater and propagation starting to come in so I just want to get off the repeater I'm done with it I can press the recall store button and I can scroll through and there is my FM calling for 6 meter that's FM calling for simplex 
USB calling for 10 meter, FM calling for 10 meter, and there's USB for 6 meter. So the beauty of this is I can immediately jump over and get into HF real quick. Now I'll go ahead and put the meter where I like to leave the meter is I like to leave the meter on signal and SWR because this way you actually see the actual signal from your your transmission station so let's go down here I think I heard some activity on 10 meter we'll see if, any, if anybody's down there looks like it's quiet now it is the frequency in use there's no one on there is the frequency in use KI5 JUF Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot I'm down here about uh, 35 miles southeast of Cincinnati, Ohio, and you're sounding good coming uh, down here to Medic. Medic, go ahead. Looks like we have some traffic here. Is the frequency in use? We'll turn the DR, DNR on. Is the frequency in use Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot? Alright, so what I'll show you real quick here is for example, if I'm on a 10 meter upper sideband, if I want to turn on the digital noise reduction, I would simply press the DNR and then I would adjust it here. Uh, Let's see. And again, you can see there's not a lot of traffic out there right now, but there's the adjustment for the DNR. And you can see there's 15, which is all the way across, and there's 0, which is or 1, which is all the way down. So to remember, if you want to clear out of this, just press MCH, and this will go back to where you can control it. We'll try it again here. I'm going to turn off the DNR. Let's try it one more time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit tough out there to get anything in. Let's see if we can get anything on FM. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, CQ 10 FM, CQ 10 FM, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. See if we can get anything. CQ 10 FM, CQ 10 FM, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, calling CQ 10 FM and listening. Copy, I copied Whiskey 9 Echo, repeat, QSL. Whiskey 9 Echo, repeat again, this is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, calling CQ10 FM and listening. Whiskey 9 Echo, again QSO, this is Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, but I just wanted to show you real quick. We'll go ahead and put this up, and hopefully this will give you some information. I'll post everything in the body of the email. This is KI5JUF73.